problem is now I can't get over to the bees over the field because it's putting that much rain down. So the only th one thing for it, I might have to take the quad track. So, uh, oh. There you go. That's one way of getting onto the field. We'll just so welcome back to another weekly video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Just trying to lock the door with one hand here. So, it's been a bit of a strange week, really. It's on Tuesday already. So, we took yesterday off as we uh, we took the twins out for the birthday. Uh, and tomorrow, I have an hospital appointment, I'm in for a little operation. Nothing serious, thankfully. Um, that's two days lost this week. So, we're just going to head out on the bees now. Um, it's been two weeks since I've checked some of these sites for feed and I want to start dotting some supers about and so on uh, and just seeing what the state of play is. Um, I'm quite lucky actually. I don't want to... Uh, one second. Just sort you out there. I don't want to uh, curse it, but we're in a, we're in a decent place. Um, I felt like we were ahead of the bees a little bit, which is always the best place to be. Um, pardon the pun, again. So... Um, I don't feel like I'm panicked. I've noticed a lot of people starting to inspect hives and things like that. Again, I'm not in a rush to do so. I mean, if I find anything I don't like or a filling queen, there's not much I can do about it anyway yet. So um, I may equalize a couple of production colonies if um, if I think they need it. And other than that, we're just gonna uh, leave them alone and keep them topped up and just make sure they've got room now. Right, we'll crack on. We'll go and get some more kit loaded uh, and then we'll let off to sites. So we've all seen endless social media posts after social media posts of bees going in and out of hives, but uh, there's a none the different there. Really busy today, and at last I can finally say there's some decent pollen going in there. So they're always busy at this. Question is now, do I have a peek inside? My, my initial plan is I've got some uh, undrawn foundation supers. Um, if they're in need of space, I think I'm just going to put uh, some foundation on and then at least they've got some room and it will also give them something to do um, and obviously benefits us in the long term. But yeah, even the nukes are on this side are really, really busy as well. So so I think I'll have a peek. If they need some room, I'll make a decision. to put the nukes into full-size hives um, and if the... Full size arms are big enough. I'm going to put some uh, some undrawn foundation on, and then that way, let's say, gives them some room, gives them something to do. That's about right, isn't it? As soon as you light the smoker, the sun goes in. There we go. They're not actually as big as they look from the front. These girls are on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames. Still got plenty of stores to be fair. That bottom board's a little bit damp, it could have done one leaning the other way. These girls have still got bags of stores. And loads of pollen. Look at that pollen in that frame. And then we're into the brood. There we are. Yellow Mark Queen. I'm not actually going to give these any more space. I'll just try and lift that box up a little bit first, bring it forward. Because um, it's still set to go cold at the end of the week. And what I don't want to do is give them even more space to try and keep warm. So they can stay as they are. I'll move the foundation around a little bit so they can start drawing it out. And then check them in a, in a week or two. There we go again, loads and loads of stores. So this is one of our six frame nukes on double brood. But to be honest, from the top they look very light. 
yeah, I don't need to go much further. These girls are desperate for some feed, so. So that's our first site done. So general observations for that site. So the full size colonies, plenty of stores still in the uh, in the frames. Um, not particularly desperate for room on that site. There's one I gave an extra uh, super foundation. Uh, nukes generally were starving. So desperate for fees, so I put some syrup on those. Uh, all bar one, which was desperate for room. Um, it was like clustered everywhere, there's brace comb in the eek. Um, although there's still plenty of stores, I think they're just struggling for, for room to lay. So I've had to put those in a full size hive. Don't like doing it, not this early. I said, when I can't get my hands on queens readily, or we're in the process of grafting our own, I don't like messing about inside the hives, but um, I didn't have an extra poly brew box with me. I only had wooden brew boxes, full size hives, so I've actually moved them over. Um, I'm checking them in a, in a week or so, weather permitting. Uh, so we're just off to one of our rape sea sites now, and we'll see what the script is there with our production colonies. What's our update then? So we're just starting to get flower heads on them. There's just the old patch of yellow a bit further up there. And do you know what? When I first arrived on the site, you could smell it just, just them flowers starting to appear. So I do think we're good uh, two weeks now of this flowering. So hopefully the temperatures will warm up by then because it's set to go cold again from Thursday onwards, I think, for a few days. Yeah, but a few flowers further up there, and that's where the, uh, the muck pile was, to be fair, so they've had uh, a bit more nutrition than the rest of it, but I noticed the farmers put a few bird scurries out as well. The pigeons are starting to hammer it further near the trees. Uh, yeah, two weeks, hopefully. These girls will be, uh, they'll be bringing in some OSR nectar, and they're busy now. Just going around the hives, generally looking. Oh, well, that's a quiet one. We'll check that one. Plenty of yellow pollen going in there. So yeah, they're busy enough, given that there's uh, not masses about around here. But uh, again, get suited up and we'll see what's what. Have a look inside this quiet one. So I thought I'd show you a couple of these whilst we're going through them. So I've gone through the first dozen or so, and unfortunately we've found a couple of dead outs. I said dead outs, they're failing colonies. Uh, one of the uh, a queen, um, poorly mated, possibly a virgin at, or whatever, but anyway, she turned drone laying, uh, and the other was completely queenless and just uh, depleting day by day. So um, we've had to shut those out and uh, they'll end up just joining another colony. Um, but yeah, just, but, as you can see, these girls have taken all but every last drop of the fondant. So obviously we put we so obviously we've put these on double brood at some point because we deemed them big enough. But as most of you will know, obviously as those winter bees die, the colony actually depletes before it starts uh, increasing again. So Yeah, they're on a good, they're a good sized colony. Just grab the camera for you. So yeah, they're a good sized colony. Um, do they need to be on double brood? Probably not. So I think what I'll do, smoke these down, queen excluder on, and they can get, get a super foundation. Just a little update then. So I didn't see the point in uh, in filming every colony. So we've gone through this site in total, three dead outs, two of which I, I'm not surprised about. 
I highlighted them the other week when we were here, um, one of which I'm a little bit shocked. Just no sign of any queen, no brood, no eggs, nothing like so. Uh, oh. There you go, always wear a veil. Serves me right, that doesn't it? Um, so, yeah, stop, stop, pal, some kit. Um, chuck some bees out, couple of combines. Um, rest of the bees look fine, they're good to go. It's nice and warm here now. The rape seed will be flowering in the next couple of weeks. Um, there's a bit of rubbing going on actually. I spilled some, some syrup on the top of that. And... So, it just shows us uh, still a lack of natural flow or anything. There's only pollen obviously coming in. Um, but yeah, they're busy enough. I'm gonna get them again, Amy. So they're busy enough. That's two sites done today then. Uh, took longer than I thought actually, but like I say I've not done any proper inspections or anything like that. I've literally gone in, just assessed the size of the colony. Um, if they need some space, give them some space. If I suspect and thought they might be queenless or anything like that, I've, that's the only time I've gone in. I've seen a couple of queens, uh, super seizure queens from last season. So obviously unmarked, unclipped. So I'll sort them when we come to doing proper inspections. But no, just a general, seeing how everything's doing. If it needed room, it's been given room. And uh, there's plenty of bees out flying today, stockpile some stuff. We'll come back in a week or so and see how we're getting on. So we're out and about. We just, uh, we just dropped some honey off at Dig Lake, uh, topped them up, and we'll come over to Liverpool. And as per normal, it's absolutely peeing down. Um, no change there then, so there'll be no proper bee work going on today. Just going to check the colonies for size um, and for feed. But the problem is now I can't get over to the bees over the field because it's put that much rain down. So the only th one thing for it, I might have to take the quad track. She's a monster. <laughs> One way of getting onto the field, we just stood no chance with the truck. Why not take the tractor? See, I'm not going to go in every single one, but this uh, full to the brim of bees that's what we want. So, this is one of our hives that we've overwintered on double brood, and they are literally jam packed in both brew boxes with eggs up top as well beautiful beautiful colony this nice and calm as well given the uh, the weather isn't that great so that's them checked for another week or so another two weeks um, we'll get back either next week or the week after and start dotting some supers around just on site ready for uh, ready for the spring flow so one thing we've noticed these are the hives that we slap um, pollen patties straight on the top of the frames and it's gone right manky compared to the uh, the ones that we made pollen patties out of in the wax in the wax bags I'd definitely go down that route rather than doing this I get it was needs must and uh, we're here and it just needs to be on, but uh, that's a lesson learned. The rule of thumb is if you're not prepared to eat it yourself, then don't give it to your bees and I won't eat anything that mouldy. So our Vix wheels, I'm gonna make use of her and uh, I've got to do a little bit of, a little bit of uh, apron maintenance.
well impressed. That's made a right tidy job of this site. So the brambles throughout the season become a bit of a pain in the backside. It's a great uh, spring site and it gives a fair bit of summer honey as well. But um, yeah, although the brambles are fantastic for getting at the bramble crop, they come a bit of a pain uh, overgrowing around the hives and getting tangled up when we're coming to see them. So a little bit of work now. It saves a lot of uh, hassle as the season goes on. But yeah, that's the uh, the black thorn in coming into bloom already. Just need a bit, just need it warm enough now for the girls to make the most of that. But there's some great looking hives here. There's just one uh, on the small side, uh, three, four frames, unmarked, some clip queen. So I'd say uh, she's a super seizure from last year. Um, but. She's coming into lane now, so we'll give them benefit of the doubt. Uh, plenty of feed on there, see how they go. But the rest of the hives, I'm not just saying, I'm not just showing you best hives, they're absolutely bursting at the seams on this site. So we're going to come back next week. Uh, start, as I said, start storing some supers. Uh, just keep his eyes on these. There's probably some uh, early splits to be done here um, because the size of these colonies only say one thing, and that's going to be swarming. That's filming. I'll just drive to you. <clears throat> That's one way of getting onto the field. We just stood no chance with a truck. Why not take the tractor? 